players only, Sean. Who's the MVP? All right, Lindsay, it's a little chilly in here. <laughs> MVP, I don't know if we're all going to have the same answer here, but uh, Wheezy, let's start with you. Yeah. What do you, th- when you When you hear MVP, <laughs> yeah. who's the one guy that comes to your mind without question? Oh, it's Patrick Mahomes. All year I was saying Drew Brees, the stuff mm-hmm. that he was doing. But this last game, Patrick Mahomes going against the Baltimore Ravens. No Andrew Luck. It's tough. It's tough to say that. It's tough. But the stuff that Patrick Mahomes is doing is unbelievable, especially for a guy that's only in his second year playing, right? He's throwing no-look passes. That yeah. that fourth down play that he threw to Tyreek Hill on fourth and nine, like he threw it 50 yards. I mean, he threw that out of duress, scrambling. Yeah. And he threw a dime. Back across. Back across his body. Yeah. Four guys around Tyreek Hill, and he still got a completion. The poise of this young player is outstanding. He's making Reggie, everybody. Have you better. ever seen a quarterback throw that many different throws? No, and that I, many different yeah. angles. I, and I would hate it. I would hate it because, listen, he's getting balls in tight windows, mm-hmm. right? He's throwing yeah. the football in tight windows. Is catching guys by surprise. If he didn't throw me a no look pass like he did, <laughs> it would hit me right in the head because I wouldn't have been expecting it. The stuff that he's doing is, is outstanding. <laughs> Uh, all right, Talib, what about you, man? Uh, I'm a defensive guy, also a Los Angeles Ram. So, yeah. of course, I'm going AD. Uh, okay. 16 and a half sacks, mm. four fourths fumbles, uh, absolutely wrecking games, man. I think he lead the league in pressures, hurries, every yeah. category that you can lead the league in and at a defensive line. So, I mean, it's it's not only the plays that he's making, though, it's the timing, man. You look at the, the sack right there in Detroit. Late, uh, the game is yeah. close, it's right. tied, it's... it's it's, it's close. Right. He makes a play, we get it, we score a touchdown. Now we change the game. Right, he's changing the game. Yeah. Kansas City game, same thing, man. He's yeah. he's making these plays at crucial times in the game. So it's not just fluff fluff numbers out here, man. He really putting his print on the game, and uh, he's my MVP. He's definitely a fellow chain snatcher. <laughs> I, I, you know, I feel like that's never going to rest. I see that's never, like that's never going to rest. Okay, I see he, that he right is, now. He, he's clutch. Though, I but, see that but right now. Can I just say this? Like, like we put Aaron Donald in that pass rushing category, and I think it gets lost on people that he's a defensive tackle. Right, he's, yeah. he, he's got so D-end much harder. numbers, right. and he's a defensive tackle who gets double teamed the majority of the game. Oh, yeah, yeah we're crazy. almost we almost say Aaron Donald has to break the sack record to, to be the MVP. He might. But as a D tackle, 22 and a half that's sacks. Tough. That's I, crazy. I mean, it's almost impossible. Yeah. So he definitely deserves some love cuz to be able to wreck the games and as you mentioned, he's so clutch. They need a big play. Right. It's not just the sack, it's right. the forced fumble. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, he comes up out of nowhere. Right. Uh, man, yeah, he's a he's a butterball of knives for sure. Yeah, he is. How about you, Bushy? Uh, my guy is Drew Brees. I think Drew Brees has been the MVP candidate um, all season long, and I like Patrick Mahomes. I like Aaron Donald as well. Uh, but Drew Brees has four interceptions on the year. Patrick Mahomes has 11. Uh, Drew Brees is also the all-time passing leader. Uh, he's also second on the touchdown list, and he's about to break his own completion record. So for me. To be able to accomplish these things all in one season is it's unheard of, and, it's, and it's, that's tough to do. So you can't ignore those. You can't ignore what he's doing. You can't ignore the body of work. Plus, his team right now is sitting at the top of the division uh, and competing with the Rams for the number one spot. Uh, so you look at the whole package, I, I think without a question, it's Drew Brees. Drew Brees has been phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. I will say this about the MVP voting and the race. Style mm-hmm. points matter. Yes. Yeah. And you've got to be hot at the right time. The fact that, that the Saints lost to Dallas on prime mm-hmm. time, mm-hmm. I, I think that might hurt him a little it bit. Might. And when you look at what Mahomes right now, he's hot and what he's yeah. doing. Everybody's yeah. talking about him. Plus, he's going to play on Thursday night. Yeah. He's big. You know, you won a big award coming mm-hmm. out of college. And guess what? You know about the style and the momentum yes. and all that and how yeah. that plays a, a factor. But look at these throws. I mean, this... I, I, I can't remember the last time we saw a guy that was playing so well the first half of the season and was able to sustain it yeah. the way that he's done yeah. it. And the way that yeah. he's continuing to wow us here in week 14, that to me is unbelievable. I feel like Drew Brees is about to get the like the Leonardo DiCaprio treatment right now. Like, From Titanic? You know he or... should have won an Oscar at some point, and it just <laughs> hasn't happened, right? I feel like Drew Brees is about to get that same treatment. 